Hi friends, it's your girl Nella Rose and welcome to the JBL Orange Box where I invite my friends down to talk some realness on what it's really like to be an artist today. So today, not only do I have my very, very good friend, but he's also an artist, a YouTuber and a presenter. It's none other than Young Philly! Are you excited to be here? Yeah, I am. This is going to be like our first serious conversation. Yeah. like like this. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. So, Philly. This feels odd, you know? It feels so weird because it's like... Because like, this feels like very profesh, but every time we link up, it's just vibes. The last time we uh, we was together, we was in Ibiza. Yeah. Now look at us. And I was standing on the table. So yeah. Uh, that was a good, good motive. Though. Good time. A really yeah, good time. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. Yes, good. That was the first time me and Nell was like chilled proper, like yeah. away from work stuff. It was nice. Yeah. And you saw me like have fun. Yeah. So obviously, welcome to the JBR Orange Box, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, today I just want to get to know you. I want to get to know you on like a deeper level. Okay. The level that maybe you might not show other people. Okay. Because I feel like with us, it's very easy for people to just see us as funny people. Yeah. Do you know what's interesting though, yeah? Mm -hmm. I feel like I have shown that side, but people choose what they look at. Exactly. Like I've done a whole documentary talking about mental health. So yeah, it's out there if people really like want to get to know me like away from screen. But... but yeah, let's take it back to the beginning. Mm. Where were you born? In Colombia. In Colombia. And how <laughs> was that like? Um, I don't remember much. I come here when I was two. Mm -hmm. um, I then moved back to Colombia. There was a stage where I was mad naughty. Yeah, because you got shipped. Yeah. <laughs> your mom said, pack your bags. You're going back. You're too naughty for me. Yeah, literally. <laughs> literally, that's what happened. It, yeah. I, was, I was just going through a, a dark time. I was just doing crazy stuff. How old were you then? 16. Wow. Yeah. So instead of going college, you went back to Colombia? Yeah. Oh. But it was good. It works like hand in hand. Cause when my mom said she wanted to send me Colombia, my dad made moves to like get me into some football team there. Oh. So then I got offered like this two year scholarship. So then it didn't feel like I was getting shipped. I came back after like two years and then started working jobs. But what did you learn from being in Colombia? Cause I feel like with us two, where we live in this country, but we're not from this country. Yeah, facts. And I feel like we have a lot of like similar values when it comes to like treating people mm. the same and always having like a giving spirit because we know what it feels like to have nothing. Yeah. So when you was in Colombia, like what did you learn from being surrounded by people that are so different and that have such different living conditions to us right now? Yeah, man, I learned so much. You, you just get humbled, you get grounded. Do you get what I'm saying? There could have been a time, I don't know, that I had a pair of trainers that I thought maybe weren't in the best condition. Well, I would dash those. But in Colombia, you've got the latest, freshest kicks. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So just like seeing little things like that um, humbled me. Yeah. Talk me through every single job you've had till you got to where you are now. My first one was a broker. I think that's why I'm so good at my job now. Like yeah. The YouTube presenting world. Yeah. Because we had to cold call people and get them to send hundreds of thousands or ten thousands through the phone. Do you get it? For that's a skill, you know. <laughs> no, I beg you, take me in. Yeah. I've just phoned John. John's mm -hmm. not expecting a call from Felipe, you know. <laughs> I've hit up John at 4 p.m. He's having his tea. Mm -hmm. And he's just sent me 10 grand within an hour. That is a skill in for, it. But broker for what? Just that investments and shit, yeah. Mad. It was a mad job. It was while I was working for one of these, uh, one of the brokers, I was being myself. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I, I talk very different to Samantha from Surrey. Do you get what I mean? Oh, but yeah, you do. The Samantha from <laughs> Surrey in my office loved me. She thought she I was hilarious. Loved, yeah. So that's when I thought, wow, I'm onto something here. Mm -hmm. like, from, do you get it? They all find it funny. People would look at you and think that you would have started in a classroom, not in an office, like in a suit, like making corporates laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. so weird. I, I would have never thought team. that. I was hard. <laughs> but what inspires you, though? What keeps you going in life? My mum, you know. Mm. I love you guys' relationship yeah, so much. Yeah, my mum. Oh, don't allow me. I know. Oh, you don't I think know. about my mum and get emotional. I know. That's when a brother loves his mum, innit? Why do I want to cry? It's fine. I love my mum so much, but let's move on. Allow me, I don't want to yeah, cry. You guys are like best friends. Yeah, allow me, I don't want to cry. I'm sorry. Allow me. He just... <laughs> <laughs> said, mention my mother again, I I'll flip my this whole mom. place. <laughs> this is all for her, but God, next one. 
let's talk about your career. Mm. Yeah. Because I followed you from when I was in uni. I crazy. remember, That's so this crazy. was like, so say if I was 18, I was like seven years ago. You made That's a crazy. video of a fox. And you was you would you, you made a video of a fox and then you started running screaming. At the fox. At the fox. Mm -hmm. Do you not remember? No, Please wait, find it. Somebody wait. Find it. Do you Yo. know what I'm thinking? Yeah. Yo. So wait, I used to do videos in the park, like yeah. telling stories called Sunday stories. Yes. Yeah. But when I'd run, that weren't a fox, that was my dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. That was my dog. Yes. <laughs> you had a dog. I swear that wasn't a fox. <laughs> I said, why is he running from the fox? That That's was your my dog. dog. I need that. No, yeah. she's boiling it. Yes. And then you started running. So you tell a story. Yeah. And then you just start running. Yeah, out no, of so I, I would run like to pick a name. It was silly at the time. It was, it, so it was funny. sick at the time, but now I kind of look at back, back at it. I think mm. it was a bit silly. I feel like the way I Please. I don't know, I am funny, I suppose, is mm. like a different way now. You know mm. what I mean? I'm still like energetic, but it's no, Watch. I feel like with you, you are the definition of filling a gap in the market. When it comes to Latino influencers, you're the, you're at the forefront. You're really funny. You're very oh, authentic. Yeah, you're yourself. You haven't I changed. Chill, man. I thought no, because I've known you for years. You know what I mean? You haven't changed. Yeah, but changed you ain't said this to me. So why has it taken now for Big JBL to bring us here and you told me this about me? Because you haven't invited me to your G-Wagon. Okay, sorry. That's what this is all about. <laughs> So if you want to get it, we can well, go on, finish, finish, finish. I shouldn't have cut you yeah, off. Yeah, thank you. So I feel like you're the gap in the market. Do mm. you know what I mean? Like, there's the funny guys and then there's Philly because it's like you can do both. You're very versatile mm. and you're like that one influencer amongst our friends that can do everything. Yeah, well, do you know what I mean? And I'm just very proud of you because of that. Because it's like, oh you, my man. God, we, we do, we're building a name for ourselves. And it's like, Thanks. the more you do good, it makes all of us look better. Do you know what I mean? You know, that's why you always win, though, innit? You see oh. that attitude there? Not everyone thinks like that, you know? Hmm. Like, some people, I feel like, are so self-centred. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, I'm not like that, though, because obviously Philly's got a G-Wagon, so we have a G-Wagon. <laughs> My thing is, yeah, mm -hmm. let's go deep, but not too deep. I don't live for work. I value money, but I don't care for it. Do you get what I'm saying? Because I'm not out here, like, chasing it. Like, let's yeah. just say, for example, my sister wanted to chill, yeah? She said, yo, come, let's have a movie night. My three sisters, we like doing that. We sat mm -hmm. at the duvet on the floor. We all lay down on the floor and watch a film, yeah? Yeah. I saw a little thing. If they wanted to do that and I had a shoot at 7 a.m., best believe I'm staying there until they say we're going to bed. I don't care about the shoot. Because, like, when Cadet died, oh, it's oh, mad. Oh, stop, stop. But when Cadet died, yeah. yeah? Oh, it's mad. Yeah, I know. It's mad. I know. But when Cadet don't died... When Cadet died, I learned a lot, yeah. You, you, this is gonna live. You gonna be So, yeah, yeah, it's kind of mad. But when Cadet died, all mm. he ever wanted, yeah, when I met him, our, our goal was to buy a, a house. Not even buy it, have a place we can rent. We come from nothing, you get it? Mm -hmm. Bro lived in his yard for probably no longer than two weeks. So the point I'm trying to make is, if Cads knew he was gonna die at that point, yeah, do you think he would have gone to all the shows he was gonna go to? Do you, you know what I mean? Spend time with his mum. So, like, I took, <laughs> like... Something yeah. from that. Yeah. And I said, you know what? I need to do things for me. And you know what I mean? Not mm. because it's a little paycheck tomorrow. Find money. So, yeah. I want to talk about mental health. Yeah. Do you feel like your mental health has gotten better or worse since becoming Young Philly? It didn't exist when I wasn't Young Philly. Serious. Like, I can't, I can't think of a time that I felt... Uh, yeah, I didn't have a panic attack before Young Philly. I didn't even know what the word anxiety was before Young Philly. How about that? Mm. And it's tough, you know? People don't assume like, that man's human. But I blame myself because I'm myself all the time on camera, yeah? People approach me like they know me and I hate it. There was a time me and Chunks were in Selfridges, yeah? These like, group of kids come up to us and ask us for pictures, but Donny didn't even ask. It was just... Yeah, man, oh, Philly, da, da, da. you get me? I hate but that. then there was another rapper in the same store that we was in, mm -hmm. and we could see how scared they are to ask him. Yeah. Like, look, man, you go ask, like, do you know, yeah. do you know what I'm saying? So I've never had that. It's yeah. they're sprinting towards me. Yeah. I'm like, hey, because it's like, do you know what? I give off energy. So it's mm -hmm. like if you're giving me hi. I'm giving you hi, but the thing is, yeah, I so, get what you mean where it's like you're yourself on camera all the time to the point where people don't see you as anything else. So, for example, I've seen you when you're tired, yeah, and everyone's like, 
oh, it's Fiddy okay? It's Fiddy okay? What's wrong with Fiddy? I'm oh just like... Oh, my God! He's just tired. Oh, my God, People Nels. in Spain used to be screaming all the time. Oh, my God, And laughing Nels. all the time. Like, I get it. They expect yeah. you to be f- yeah, young Fiddy 24-7. Yeah. It's midnight. You're right, Asda. You're going to buy a paracetamol. Your head is hurting. <laughs> you know, they want you to be like, yeah, man. If not, I saw Fiddy. I think something's seriously wrong. Something's really up with young Philip. We need to pray for him. Mm, the man was tired. <laughs> the man was tired. And you're always tired as yeah. well. Okay, so how do you use your voice to help others? Let me ask you this here. Have you ever received a message from someone saying like they're mad ill or depressed and they yeah. just watched your video? Yeah. That's how I that's I think how I use my voice. Yeah. Just by doing a video. By doing videos. And when I actually think about it in hindsight, mm-hmm. if we're getting all these millions of views and everyone's laughing, mm-hmm. bro, ain't laughter like the best sort of like I don't, what do they say? There's a saying or like medicine, but remedy. I don't know. Laughter is the best re- remedy or medicine. I don't know, but Pinking there's up. a saying. But then same time, like on Snap, I'm mad honest like with myself. I do show people mm-hmm. I'm a human. I remember like the first time I was ever on TV, yeah? And um, yeah, I remember I watched the episode on TV. I'm crying on Snap. I'm like, you don't know if I come from nothing. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm a mad emotional guy, you know. Yeah. If you haven't noticed, I'm very you, emotional. You know I know. Yeah, We're I'm like this. Emotional. The emotional. Cancers and Leos, we just cry. Yeah, That's just, I'm do. a cry baby. Cry. But I love crying. I feel like when I cry, yeah, it like it uplifts. I don't know. I feel like there could have been stressed and it just went like that. Mm-hmm. You feel good after a cry. Cry, guys. Yeah. What excites you about the future? I'm not gassed by bread no more. Certain jobs don't gas me no more. I've mm-hmm. done like the maddest of the maddest things, you know. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I know there's still more I can do, mm-hmm. but I'm fulfilled. Do you get what I'm saying? So now what excites me, yeah, is seeing that success to my family. Yeah. So like when I gave my mum a little job, yeah. and then she's messaging the group going, guys, look at my bag. Like, <laughs> woof, what a feeling. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Another thing that excites me, having a family, having a wife. I can't wait to have kids. I can't, I feel like I'm gonna be an amazing dad. You're gonna be an amazing dad. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's what excites me. Do you know what excites me? And I know it's gonna happen really, really soon. Sold out shows. Worldwide tours. I'm the backup Bro, dancer. Bro, the smells magic. Yeah. Imagine this, yeah, you're on stage. I'm the backup dancer, I'm in a fog. What? <laughs> yeah. I'm shaking it for the world. We can make history. You're in a what? I'm in the phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that is brilliant. I should check in. That's brilliant. Yeah, of course, you can be on there with a phone. No, but you know why you can't? Because, like, yes, you, can. you know our audiences, they're young. So, for, I've, I've already got tour dates, by the way. I'll, I'll give you them later. But it's like 16 plus. So it's so like the young ones have to go have their parents and that. I don't think you're allowed to be on stage with the phone. Huh? Okay. How would you feel if you're if you went to a concert of your child? Close, you close your eyes. Fair it's enough. my time to shine. <laughs> it's my time to shine. You're gonna have sold out shows and I'm gonna be in the back and I'm gonna do my Shakira. <laughs> my Shakira. And that's how it's gonna be. <laughs> you ain't joking. Yeah. <laughs> Fili, tell me, what excites you about the next generation of like young voices? Like the people that are coming after, we're gone. <laughs> what excites me about them is that they're gonna do it bigger and better in ways that we could, couldn't could imagine. But that's what excites me, just to see what they're gonna bring to the table. I know what we've brought. The fact that YouTubers are on TV now with their own shows. Like, Bro, it's, it's mad what mad. we've done, you know? I feel like they're gonna shake the tables, I can't lie. You reckon? Yeah, they're gonna take it to the next level and I'm excited to see mm. what they bring to the table. <laughs> Well, that's it from us here in the JBL Orange Box. If you guys want to see more, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Big purr.